Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Martian Dreams. We're looking for a man named Jack Seagull. Seagull. Well, he is the man in charge of this town. And we need to really get something happening as far as the quest to recover the Phlegistonite. Sounds like the new... Almost sounds like the new, uh pyro weapon from Team Fortress 2, doesn't it? But it is not. It is a rocket propellant. Hmm. We will find this man. Maybe. Alright, where are you? Let's do a methodical search. That's the French chick. It's an empty room. It's Edison. What about over here? There he is. Let's talk to him, shall we? We see a slick, dark looking man. A dark, slick looking man with slightly shifty eyes. Hello, old friend. I see you've succeeded in the matter of Martian bodies. This is wonderful. You briefly described the cigar, the creation of the metal body. This is fantastic. I understand that rap U10 has our propellant. You must retrieve it at once, old friend. Face him down. I'll let him know he won't stand for them. Let him know we won't stand for this interference. While you handle that little problem, we here in Olympus will gladly do our part. With your instructions, we'll create metal bodies for all the Martians. By the time you return with the Phlegistonite, we will have all the ready. We will all be ready to leave this godforsaken planet. Now go, man, go! He strides, pers <laughs> he strides purposely away, carrying out and fulfilling his purpose, gathering his people, you know and he still just stands there, but he's pretending to do his job, and that's what's important. So now we can actually do our job, and that's find this madman and get rid of him. That's basically it. Alright, well let's get to it, shall we? Can't go, of course, through that metal, metal wall, we have to go around it. See what I mean now? Of just having to do a long walk around the city, but then we get there. Then we get there. Just for fun, though, I'd like to plant one of these worms bane seeds because we're never going to see it again anyway. We see a worms bane plant. That was cool. It's a bit like Minecraft. Instant growing plant. Okay. Well, look at this. I see a body. Hello, body. Lots of bodies, apparently. People might have died. What's happened here? Some more Rouge Berries. Not that we need any more at this stage. We just need to know what's happening. Where's the boss? Ah, oh, here we are. I see here we are here. We see a poor monk. We should talk to the poor monk. We see a robed man who looks confused. We say, uh, what's your name? Grigori Laputin, at your service. I probably still said that wrong. Um, what's up? situation. Nope, um... His pardon and brilliance are beyond compare. He must have been the 
It must have been he who sent the visions to me on Earth. Visions, you say? They drew me to this red planet, with dreams of awesome powers and the ability to rule the world. Rule the world? I didn't realize that the Pachik planned to use my body as a vehicle to rule Mars, without little regard at all for myself, trapped in the dream world, or for Earth. Still, his strength of will, his enormous intellect, and his mental powers, mysterious even to a student of strange things, fascinate me. Trapped as you trapped, you say? I dreamt I was at a formal dinner, but I was poisoned by my enemies, but I was not killed by the poison. Killed? They truly sought my death. When the poison failed, they shot and stabbed me. Despite all this, I still drew breath. Draw your breath, man. At last, they pushed me through the icy... Pushed me through a hole in the icy surface of a frozen river. The current pulled me away from the hole, and I was trapped, perpetually drowning. It was horrible and seemingly eternal nightmare. I was sudden, but I was suddenly dispelled, and I awoke just moments ago. Apparently, the man has fled back into the dream world for his own reasons, and I was returned to my body through natural laws. Well, we need to chase this man, it seems, into the dream machine. Let's do it. Where is this dream machine? Just for safety, we'll save before we do so. Let's get into the dream machine. Not you, Nelly. It's me. Thank you. And now, Spectre needs to use the machine. We wait for the things to happen. This time, however, you do not find yourself in a hall of dreams. What is this? It's a robed figure. Hello. We see a Shadow Lord. Hello, Shadow Lord. We see the Shadow Lord of Falsehood. The dark robed figure looks up at you, and you recoil, certain that your eyes are deceiving you. Here, in the world of the dreams and shadows, we will detect your actions, leading you down the path of your virtues, until you learn the falsehood of your incorruptible stance as the Avatar. Um, thank you. I think I, think I missed a pain there, but alright, um, bye. Farewell, Galgacon. We will certainly meet again. Let's talk to him again, see if he says anything interesting. Good to see you again, old friend. Uh, what do I have to do? Your job. I have returned to test you, Kilkakon. I wish to show you that the virtue that is the greatest of lies. I nearly need to... You nearly... <laughs> you nearly need to ask, and I will be glad to begin your test. Um, what about these lies you keep on going on about? Falsehood as many forms. A mortal can lie to another, to cover guilt or to achieve a desire, and that is satisfying. Best of all, however, is a lie to oneself. Pretend to be happy when you are hurt or sad, and you will be happy. Or present the right appearance to the world, and you, what you want will be given to you. Delightful! Even my siblings delight in falsehood. I need no one else, so I hate the people who wish to love me. I wish I could do something to help, but it wouldn't make any difference. Falsehood is the supreme principle of life. This is a very interesting curved person. Let's do your test. Step into the gate I open before you. Beyond you will find your old friend, Jean Spectre. You will also find one of my lies in his image. But of course you could trust your friend to tell you way, way out of the maze. And of course my creation will lie to you. If you find such power and truth, you will easily tell the difference. A ghostly chuckle reverberates from the cowled figure. <laughs> okay, well let's use the obelisk. I see. Let's grab some of the items. We have symbols. Cling! 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 Nothing's happening. We get the thread. Get the needle. And we get the reflective surface. We see a reflective surface. See a door. We see a scientist. Well, I think we need to work this out next video. So when we come back, the puzzle of falsehood.